I'm Jason Hudson from Tenzig Technology, and today we're going to look at how to set up and optimize Microsoft Teams in a VMware Horizon VDI environment. The media optimization for Microsoft Teams redirects audio calls, video calls, and the viewing desktop for a seamless experience between the client system and the remote session without negatively affecting the virtual infrastructure and overloading the network. Microsoft Teams media processing takes place on the client machine instead of in the virtual desktop and does not rely on real-time audio video, otherwise known as RTAV. Before we start the installation demo, it's worth just mentioning the supported Horizon client versions for each of the OS environments. To take advantage of the offload capability, you must use Horizon Client for Windows 2006 or later, Horizon Client for Mac 2103 or later, or Horizon Client for Linux 2106 or later. You can find more information on this by following the link at the bottom of this page. This section briefly lists the system requirements for both the client and the virtual desktop when using the media optimization for Microsoft Teams feature. System requirements for RTAV are different and more substantial than those for media optimization for Microsoft Teams. RTAV is used if media optimization is not turned on via GPO or if the endpoint does not support media optimization or fallback mode. Because Microsoft frequently introduces extra Teams features, it's best to visit their site to keep abreast of these. Visit the URL listed here or search for Microsoft Teams new features in your browser search engine. We'll show you how to install the latest VMware Horizon agent on the virtual desktop and configure group policy settings on the machine to take advantage of Microsoft Teams optimization features. To complete the process, we'll install the Microsoft Teams desktop app on the VM and show you how to identify the optimization is set up and running correctly. We need to install the Horizon agent on our virtual machine first and then configure the GPO specific settings to enable optimization for Teams. I'm going to remote into this VM using a saved RDP connection first and then locate the agent installer before I start the actual install process. Now we're connected, we need to navigate to the temp folder on C, which is where the VMware Horizon agent installer is located on my VM. Please note that you need to install the Horizon agent before the Teams desktop client. If you installed Microsoft Teams before installing the Horizon agent, close Teams if it's already open, delete the app data Microsoft Teams folder before you eventually relaunch the Teams app. For example, on my PC, this would be in C colon backslash users, JSON H, app data, roaming, Microsoft Teams. Now we'll double click the installer inside temp and get the agent loaded onto this VM. If you're asked the question about making changes to your device, just click yes. Click next and accept the license agreement. Click next. 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 And then click install. Once you see the installer completed message, click finish and answer yes to the reboot question. If we just go back to the install options, you'll notice RTAV is still included by default. But as you'll see from the demo where Teams is operating in optimized mode, this supersedes RTAV. However, RTAV still continues to be used for other non-optimized real-time applications. Once we're back into the VDI, click the start menu, and then type in appwiz.cpl and enter. We can go into programs and features within control panel and see the Horizon agent has been installed successfully. Now, before we install Microsoft Teams on this virtual machine, we need to copy some VMware specific ADMX files. 
that will enable us to take advantage of the new optimization features in Teams. ADMX files are Windows Group policy settings in XML format that once loaded by the GPO can also be seen in the registry. To do this, I need to go into the temp folder and go into the VMware Horizon Extras bundle folder. By the way, this is available for download from VMware's website at my.vmware.com slash web slash VMware slash downloads. Once inside the folder, click Ctrl and A to select the entire contents of the folder. Then click Ctrl and C to copy or right click and select copy in the context menu. Now navigate to the folder Windows and Policy Definitions. Once inside this folder, click Control and V or right click and paste. If you're asked to provide permission to copy to this folder, then click Do This For All Current Items and click Continue. Now that's completed, we're going to see where these new GPO registry settings have been stored, so we can enable some of them for Teams optimization a bit later. In the Start menu, click the search box, type in GP Edit, and press Enter. When the local group policy editor is opened, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, VMware View Agent Configuration, and click on VMware HTML5 features. Double click on the setting named Enable VMware HTML5 features, and once inside, click Enable and OK. Now we need to open VMware Web RTC redirection features and double click on Enable Media Optimization for Microsoft Teams. Again, click Enable and OK. Once this has been done, just close the policy editor. It's time to install Microsoft Teams next. So I go back to the temp folder where my installer file is located. Double click on the Teams installer and click Run. Once it's loaded successfully, Key in your username and password. Click OK. Wait for my device to register and click Done. I'm going to disconnect the RDP session and connect in using the VMware Horizon client so we can verify that Teams is optimized after our configuration process. I just key in my password and click login. I need to go into my Horizon desktop named Jason W10 Personal. Now that Teams is installed and open successfully, we can see if the optimization is working inside the app. Click on the three dots next to your profile icon, select About and Version. You should see the VMware Media Optimized note in the version statement above. This means that we're successfully set up and running Teams in optimized mode as intended where the audio and video is being redirected to the client endpoint instead of through the VDI.
This concludes today's demonstration on how to set up and optimize Microsoft Teams in a VMware Horizon VDI environment. Stay tuned for the second part of this video series where we demonstrate this optimization functionality on a 10 gig approved VMware Ready Endpoint. I hope you enjoyed the session and remember, if you have any questions regarding this or related topics, then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com.